So Marco, I uh, need to welcome you on behalf of uh, the Hellenic Zeus uh, tournament and on behalf of tennisnews.gr and I need to thank you for uh, having this interview with you. Uh, how, do, how do you find Crete? How do you find your staying here for starters? I simply I really like it. I've been here uh, two years ago, my first time, two, three years ago and I had a great time and like always not in Crete, in, in Greece. I feel like home and it's very similar to my country where I'm coming from Serbia and uh, I'm really enjoying I'm really enjoying this hotel here, this tournament and uh, the Greek people are really really friendly and I'm, I'm happy to be here and play, play this tournament. So that's fantastic, that's true that Greeks and Serbians do have a relationship and a bond uh, between them. Yes. yes. Uh, should, we, should we start uh, our interview going to the court uh, part first, uh, to your performance, we know that you're dealing with... Um, uh, you can, yeah, whatever, whatever you wish. Okay, so, uh, okay Marco, L let's start from the games. Yesterday you had a game, uh, you played against uh, Ted Angelinos, uh, nowadays he's uh, number one in Greece and he's having his uh, highest career ranking, 385 in the world. Uh, how did you see yourself inside the court? We didn't see you being very happy. Uh, tell us a few things. Yes, yes. It was the uh, uh, first time I played against Angelinos and it was, uh, it was a pleasure to play with him. He's a really nice guy. And we had a... Uh, although I didn't enjoy in the court as much as I can do, I had a nice time playing with him. And uh, it was not the best day for me. Uh, I tried to do my best. I came back in the second set. I, I did did some things to make it to change the game how it was uh, but it was not a nice match to watch from both of us but uh, but it's the way it is I'm coming back from a from an injury of my wrist that I had now for one and a half month and now again I'm starting to play tournaments and this was my first tournament here in Greece and uh, I'm happy the way I played the second tournament although it was not good but it's improving every week and uh, and uh, let's see, the next week is going to be, be maybe better. Marco, we see you talking about uh, your performance yesterday and we see that uh, you're talking with a smile, which means that you do enjoy and love the game, you do enjoy and love tennis. At the same time though, during the game, you, you know, uh, most players, because they are have highly intense and everything, uh, what do you want to? What's your experience about these uh, reactions and the temper that all the players have? You know, it's the struggle to win. If many players they have they have this uh, how to call it stress to to win the match, to be better, to be always. And my my goal now is of course to win a match, but is to enjoy on the court, which I didn't yesterday. But it's getting better and better. I improved a lot. I don't mind if I lose or win. I just want to give my best, do my best, and the thing, the life will do the, do the everything else. If I win, win. If I don't, I'm happy. I was on the court a bit unhappy, but after the match, after the match, I cooled down, cooled down a lot, and I felt, I felt comfortable with myself, and uh, I'm happy to to continue practicing and uh, enjoying this lovely game. Mm -hmm. So. That's the spirit of the game. Eh? There is tension on the game. There is a struggle to win, and after that, when players relax, uh, they, you know what it stays after all is the love for tennis. Yes. So okay, I need to thank you for the parenthesis on your uh, last game yesterday, and I want to wish you uh, best of luck from now onwards. We need to ask you a few things that have to do. There are more personal questions, but I'm sure they are interesting for lots of people and fans. Yes. So your three brothers, uh, please tell us, how, how were things uh, in a younger age, you know? Who was the troublemaker, for example? No, we were, uh, it was, we were three brothers and it's really interesting that we all play tennis and we all grew up in, uh, in Serbia in a, in a lovely mountain where we had, where we had our tennis courts, our restaurant and, and uh, I would rather say how nice, how much nice time we had when we were kids than and say who is the troublemaker because you know I really uh, the 
thing we had between each other, the chemistry we have and the love we have between each other is really special and I'm really, really happy for it and we continue this even though we are separate a lot of times mm -hmm. uh, of, of, because of the tennis and the tournaments. We always come to, to each other and talk, talk almost every day about how our days and enjoy, enjoy the, the lives and the, the interesting things I don't know what to tell you, it's always uh, we always had a really nice time. We had, we had, as every brothers, they have, have fights, have enjoyments, have uh, playing games, playing these. But it was always, always with uh, how to say, with the harmony, uh -huh. with harmony, and, and enjoying with ourselves and uh, and feeling, uh, feeling happy and respecting the life. Your difference, your rates of difference uh, with your older brother Novak is four years. He's four years older than you. And Georgia is four years younger than you, right? Yes. So you're right in a position to be closer to your older brother and to your younger brother as well. So it's like you're balancing the whole yeah. relationship of the three brothers, right? So tell us a few things. Oh, I mean, have... you're, you're exactly in the middle, you know? <laughs> yes. We have. We always had, a, even though it's a difference in the, in the age or... But we haven't felt that much. We always felt like like a family, like together with my mother, my father, and with all the cousins and everything. We always felt together. It was okay. It was a difference in the age that Noah went when he was young. He went to practice. Then I was more together with my younger brother. But uh, now the now is getting back together, and we are we are all we all have special connection. Special, mm -hmm. special so tennis is in the family, definitely. Yes. How many rackets, how many tennis rackets do you guys, uh, the three of you, have back at home? I haven't, haven't counted still, but uh, we bring a lot, we take a lot, we give, uh, we give to the people they need, they want, you know, Novak is giving to the charity, the rackets, mm -hmm. and to the kids to play tennis, because many kids, they, don't, they, don't, they cannot afford for do that, but I don't, I'm not a really big how to say collector of the records, I just, what I have in the moment I play with and uh, everything else, if I have opportunity I give to somebody else who really needs, needs this, this record. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently followed uh, your brother's uh, uh, charity work uh, yeah. in Belgrade having to do with uh, uh, some foundations in schools, if I remember yes. correct. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about all these uh, you know, uh, gestures from your brother? I mean, uh, there are definitely people with needs and uh, you guys, uh, I'm using plural, support people who have the need and that you can support it, of course. We, we felt, in our family, we felt how is it to be in a really small town, how is it to be from a normal family with a normal life that everybody has in our country. To, to a family who, who can afford a lot of a lot of things to itself, but uh, and we felt this, but still we we we, we stay the same family, the normal family, the normal who doesn't who doesn't get affected by money, the popularity and these things, and that's why my uh, my brother started these things because he feels how much how much he f he needed things when he was young and how much uh, how much these kids need in Serbia Serbia and how much happiness he can bring them just just with giving them attention and plus affording them some facilities for them to play and enjoy the enjoy the the life you know start start starting because kids are kids are the future of this of this world and it's always nice to it's a pleasure to help them that's true. So, Marco, do you know what I understand uh, from, uh, from our conversation up to now is the thing that people may deal with us as we are famous, but at the end of the day, our family, we are simple people, you know, and we need to get that outside. Is that a fact? We are, yeah. People are, because Novak is famous and Novak is really famous in, this, in the tennis world because since he's been number one in this world in the in the tennis already two years and he's been a lot of popular especially in Serbia but nothing big has changed in his life and he just 
he's being the same, being the same as he was, a really nice guy, really generous guy and always ready to to help if he, if he can to many people. Do you feel any tension on court or playing tennis for example? Do you think that maybe people are comparing you with him or him with you? Or does your younger brother feel the same as well? Since he started being really popular in Serbia five years ago or six years ago, I don't know. I was really young and then it affected me a little bit that people are coming and for example on these kind of tournaments coming and watching a lot of people, you know, comparing to the other people comparing to the other guys even though I was not better than the better than many many players on the tournament. So but uh, since then I tried to cope with it, to fight with it and uh, and now in this moment, in the last one year, I really feel comfortable, I really feel as Marco, as myself and uh, of course he's my brother, but I have my own life and I focus on my own life, my own path and uh, I have to say, okay, people are asking me to, to see me because I know his brother and everything, but I say, okay, I cannot change that I'm Noah's brother, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna use it in a, in a negative sense. I'm just just being okay. I'm his brother, but I have I'm my own happy. personality. I have yeah? my own personality, but I'm happy to be his brother as well. To be and that's all. Huh? That's all. Tell us a few things about your plans, Marco. I mean, uh, do you study? Do you want to study? Is there something uh, uh, that you love that you have a passion besides tennis? I've, uh, I've, I have a. I did a school in Serbia that uh, that I just did. I couldn't couldn't practice more at school because I have been practicing tennis a lot outside of the Serbia in Germany and in Spain as well. And uh, I've been focusing more on tennis. And uh, for now, I'm the, I'm going to focus on tennis. I'm going to continue because I loved it. I I'm enjoying it and I'm earning so much experience with the tennis. But there are always some things that you would love to do outside and I'm trying to I'm gonna to try to go to the school to the university in Belgrade as much as I can uh, because there is not many possibilities not many time to, to mm -hmm. go but uh, I'm interested in many things in life everybody has hobbies everybody has things and I'm just uh, just interesting in uh, finding the happiness in this life and uh, and feel the you know feel free and enjoying because not many people can can feel this and feel relaxed and if I have a possibility if I can learn these things uh, be in contact with your soul it's, it's just uh, the, the best feeling that you can have is to be in contact with yourself and feel feel happy and feel in love and then you can share with the other people and this is what what uh, my what makes me feel happy to if I'm happy I'm gonna, I would love to make everybody else around me feel mm -hmm. as well. So does it have to do with uh, philosophy? Does it have to do with uh, inner search? Does it have to do with the finding the meaning of life? I mean, uh, how would you it's, specify it? It's the thing that people don't have much time and don't have much understanding for themselves and for their time and for their finding finding the peace in their lives. and they. This is how the society is. You have to go to school, another school, another school, and then you have to go. And then you start to work, and then you don't have time for yourself. You continue the work, and then you go more, 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 and all your life you search for something. But on the end, you ask yourself, you know, when you're older, when you finish, you ask yourself, well, for what did I do all, all these things? Okay, I have, I have uh, money. I have. Uh, I did uh, work, I got my popularity, I got, but still you haven't been working in yourself and this is what, what, I'm, what I'm getting in the feeling with and, uh, and I'm searching and I really have a possibility to practice tennis because of the support of my brother and uh, I have a possibility uh, to learn these things I'm trying to do by myself, reading some books, reading things and, and talking with the people, with, them, with their problems, how they feel and, and uh, with my coach, with my coach Pepe Mas, who is helping me, helping me a lot, help me gain tennis, but help me to, f to change my interior and to feel happy. Because a few years ago, I didn't feel happy. I was practicing, I was playing good, but you know when you feel feeling okay, and you finish the match, and you feel like okay, I won. But you know where is this this enjoyment, this feeling in your life? And now, okay, yesterday I lost the match. I played 
bad, I didn't play the best tennis, but I felt after after the match I felt full with myself and, and this is the thing that I'm finding and I'm, I'm in contact with mm -hmm. and I'm, I would love to, that all the people are in contact with this and feel love and because the love is the thing that we all search in the, in the life, the family to have and, the, and this is the, the most important thing and the, being positive, being happy, you're gonna attract as well positive things and you're gonna have a nice job, you're gonna have nice things. Because if you're positive you have many 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 great things out of it. So this is my this is my Your motto. My, my motto, yes. That's a fantastic uh, and very interesting approach of life and thank you for sharing it with us Marco. Uh, so definitely you just mentioned that Pepe Maz is kind of a mentor to you uh, at this period. Uh, we're gonna, are we going to see you on, uh, at the Davis Cup on Belgrade in September? Because we'd really love to come. I would, uh, still, I didn't arrange my plans. I'm living, uh, I'm living now and in this moment. Of course, I have to arrange the future, but I'm living day by day. And uh, I, would, I just have been thinking after my brother won the match here in, in uh, America and the way he won, even when he was injured and he was feeling like... like uh, Tired and with all these things, he won and he did many things for for Serbia, for the country, for people to see that they can do it. And uh, I would love to be there. I would really love to. And this is a, we already have been a part of the team in uh, 2010 when we won the Davis Cup. I've been all year with my brother, and I hope I'm going to be the same this year in the September. It's going mm -hmm. to be uh, amazing, uh, amazing. Match against, I think I guess Czech Republic. Yeah, I think I'm not sure. I've followed this for that as well. But, to but be anyway, honest, it's gonna be. It doesn't matter with who. It's gonna be a great atmosphere. Tennisnews.gr needs and wants to be in Belgrade in September, and uh, would love to see you again, Marco. There. Uh, going back to your brother, did, did you talk on the night after the game? I mean, uh, how, I'm sure you watched the match. You found out the news. Uh, how did you hear him? Uh, we 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 spoke. Uh, day after because I didn't want to, I know he had many things on his mind and uh, he had many things to do about his injury and about everything, I didn't want to, to do anything, I just give him a message of support and uh, he called me next day and we spoke about mm -hmm. everything and uh, he, felt, uh, he felt much better the day after and uh, he's getting better, his, his injury is getting, getting uh, solved and he's gonna play so He's, uh, he's happy that everything went well in the end. Marco, how is it to travel so often? I mean, uh, how do you feel? I mean, it is a way of life possibly, but how do you feel? I mean, how often do you travel? We travel a lot. We travel a lot, as you see, and uh, we have many tournaments during the year. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go to see my family in Serbia. I'm, I'm practicing in Spain as well, so I'm trying to to mix my time and to see my brother Novak and be with them, with the family together. And uh, it is it is the way of life we chose to live and I'm, if, if I'm positive as, a, as I am, I'm enjoying it and I don't, I'm good with myself, I'm enjoying wherever I am in, in, this, in, this, uh, in this world and uh, I'm okay, of course it's always best to be home. But I like it, I don't mind to be here, for example, mm -hmm. in Greece. Is the whole world, since you travel, could it be like a you know, big playground after all? Because you have a chance to get it's to know so many cultures. People, people, people should feel like this, because we are born on this earth, we are living in this earth, and people should feel that they can go wherever they want. But the way the, the, world, the, the world is now, it's not possible for everybody to travel and to go everywhere but you know you should the, the feeling that you have it's, it's it's like your home every all the earth is your home and you should feel like this and so, it's always interesting to get to know different cultures and places right isn't it does it make you after all to be more open-minded and think uh, differently than other people i'm i'm uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> They're joking with you yeah, through the swimming joking, pool. Yeah, my friends. And, uh, we can call them after we can, all. We can feel them now. <laughs> <laughs> Smart to the camera, please.
two of my best friends and we're enjoying the time here. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's that's fantastic. We saw they you like to, They like to make fun of me from time to time. <laughs> they're gonna get it back for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they can count on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and about the about the cultures I I always feel, you know, like like all the people are your brothers, you know, we're the same on the end the world has come to this that you feel ah he's different he's I don't know Bulgarian you should uh, he's different than me he's not different it's a human it's, it's mm -hmm. you come from the same thing you know it's uh, on the end of the day you're all brothers and we should feel like this but we have a lot of hate and a lot of anger but it's changing the world is changing a lot and I have to say and and uh, about me I feel wherever I am I feel good and I feel feel glad to be with the people. Mm -hmm. And we do feel that people with positive energy are representatives actually of, uh, of this feeling. Do you feel as a representative of your country, you, your brother, your family, since you know Serbia had always had a tradition in sports and nowadays it happens that your brother is number one in, in world tennis. But at the same time, do you think that every athlete's success is at the same time like representing his country abroad. Of course, because people, are, this is what we spoke about, you know, that everybody is looking, ah, oh, he's number one, from which country he is, if I like him or don't like him, you know what I mean. But uh, in my opinion, okay, I represent my country, I love my country, but as I say, I enjoy whatever I am. I don't mind if I'm representing my country, although I would like to represent the whole world, you know what I mean. It's the, it's the way it's, it, uh, is the way it, it has to be, you know. You know I mean, everybody, people would, when they listen to this, you know, people would say, what, are, what is he talking about, what is this? But on the end of the day, when you think about it, it's, we're all the same. Marco, you just said I would love to represent the whole world, right? Yeah. So imagine if this could be a historical interview, because no one knows what happens in the future. We can wish you to represent I hope all, the whole I would, world in I the future. I don't mind if I, if it's me or whoever, who sends this message to the, to the world or sends it to, to the... In, maybe in 50 years somebody will say, ah, oh, look, this man was talking about this, and it happened. Mm -hmm. But you never know, and uh, I'm just... The message I'm is just, that matters, I'm eh? The message is what it matters, and I just, I just share what I received from, from the life and from the other people, and I would love to share with... Uh, with if I have opportunity like now, I would mm -hmm. love to share with everybody else. And this is, this is, the, this is the thing we... we me, I would love to do, and I love to share with the people because we all need love and we all need this, this happiness. That's true, feelings are common to every human being. So but please tell us about your younger brother as well, because I mean, he's the only one who we haven't talked. Uh, so, uh, what about uh, your younger brother? He's, uh, my younger brother, he's, he's also playing tennis, as you saw, he's a really lovely guy and uh, he's improving his tennis, his focus in his life there, but as at the same time we we also enjoying with ourselves and we're having such a nice time between each other and uh, he has a really nice character, he's really open to the people as I am and uh, maybe we're a bit different but but uh, we just have, uh, I have only the great words for him and uh, I'm happy that he enjoys and he continues playing tennis and enjoying the life. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, taking care of him as being older? I just, uh, I would love to live him and live his life, of course. You know, his brother, I would try to help him in the way, mm -hmm. but he has his own life, I have my own life, Noah has his own life. We're trying to push each other, of course, but we, I stand back because he needs to experience things in his own, his own life. Mm -hmm. I hope, I don't know if you were having any plans on uh, coming back to Crete to another tournament of this uh, series of Hellenic Zef's uh, Pro Circuit series. Uh, we would love to have you back here. Uh, and uh, again, I need to thank you for sharing uh, your time with us on behalf of Tennis News. And hopefully we can meet again uh, next time. Hopefully it would be soon. You're welcome and I'm happy that I can share this and I'm happy that you, you give me this opportunity to share these things with, with everybody. Likewise, I need to thank you again, Marco. Thank you I wish much. you every best from now onwards, every success on the courts uh, in your life, and uh, a positive wish from us. Thank you very much. Me too.